Uh, so we're recording right now. Yep, we are recording. All right. I guess it's uh, get to it. Hello, everyone. This is the Insert Title Show, and I'm your host, Wolf Strife. Uh, it's just me and Big Daddy today on this Memorial Day. And uh, we're basically just going to go through a shitload of war movies, give our opinions, and uh, recommend uh, some movies that you probably haven't seen, or if you have seen, maybe go watch again. So uh, nothing too crazy. We're just hanging out doing this. So uh, I guess let's get started. So, uh, well, I guess, first of all, how you doing, Biggie? I'm just doing fantastic. It's really hot. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of cold today. I don't know what the hell. Must <sighs> so, be that drunk in air. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, too bad I hope you can't be here, but, you know, he's out there with the dolphins today. What, what, what can be done with the dolphins? Do you swim with them? What, what do you do with them? I guess. I have no idea what the fuck he's doing. I guess he's uh, out on the boat, maybe. Huh. Kind of okay. weird. Can you weird? Maybe they're, like, uh, barbecuing out there on the beach or something weird. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. It'd be a nice change, I guess. Hey, war movies. The thing with war movies, though, I think most people, uh, when they when you say war movie, they think of um, <clears throat> they think of like uh, gun movies, basically, like uh, basically the 20th century and onward. They don't really think of old movies as war movies. I guess they used to call those uh, epics or whatever. I mean, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm thinking of war movies. Yeah. Cause... I guess uh, we can just go through um, all the old ones, too. I mean, like, for instance, let's start with the Trojan War. Uh, did you ever see the movie Troy? I did see the movie Troy. Did you ever see the director's cut? Because that was a lot better. No, I've never seen the director's cut. Okay, director's cut is like ten times better than the uh, regular version. The only thing that pissed me off about the director's cut was that he changed the... Yeah, like, uh, the guy who directed it, I think it was Wolfgang Peterson or whatever, uh, he spent, like, a million dollars to go back and uh, redo it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so uh, he, like, changed the entire soundtrack up and added, like, a ton of stuff. It, it's really, really good. Like, a lot more battle scenes. You got nudity. I mean, it's just everything's better. The only thing that pissed me off was that he changed the song during the uh, Achilles Hector fight. That kind of bugged me because I kind of like the bongos in the original version. But whatever. It's definitely awesome. And then from there, we go to the Greco-Persian Wars. I remember you saw the old uh, 300 Spartan movie, right? I did see the old 300. That was pretty uh, pretty interesting for the time. Came out in 1962. It, it really did not look like any... Nothing like the new one. Oh, yeah. The new one, oh, yeah. <laughs> new one was CGI, Hollywood, whatever you want to call it, pimped out. Well, they uh, they actually filmed the uh, 300, I think, in a uh, like a warehouse in Canada, I think. <laughs> they just brought in the fake uh, ground and the set and stuff, and everything else was uh, I don't know green screen. So that was kind of funny, but yeah, 300 was pretty good for the day. Yeah, it was, I think it was. I mean, I don't know how historically accurate it was. Yeah, well, they had a lot of Herodotus's quotes in there, like, um, uh, our arrows will blot out the sun, and then uh, the Spartans saying, uh, then we shall fight in the shade. I mean, that's right from the historian Herodotus writing about, like, a hundred years afterwards. So, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Well, at least they got that right. Yeah. Uh, did, you see the, uh, did you see the sequel? I did not. Oh, I did see the sequel. I did see the sequel. Never mind. Yeah, it was, a, it was okay. I mean, I, I didn't really good. like it. Uh, at least we got to see, uh, fuck, what's her name? Eva Green's boobs. That was kind of nice. Oh, the one where the, she's with the Athenian dude? Uh-huh. <laughs> the Mystocles. Yeah. Uh, Even I, uh, that one, that movie was a lot less historically accurate, but it was still okay, I guess. It's... I don't know. It, doesn't, it didn't appeal to me. It didn't didn't grab me and didn't pull me in. Like I love how at the end there was the Spartan Navy that won the battle. And like the Spartans had like 13 ships at the battle. It was the Athenians who won the fucking Battle of Salamis for crying out loud. 
Indeed. Uh, then we go on to the War in States period, which is uh, in the uh, like 200 BC. That's in China. For some reason, Wikipedia doesn't have the movie Hero, which is the only movie I've seen from that period. Did you ever see that with Jet Li? Uh, no, I didn't. I've never seen anything from really that period of time. Yeah, you gotta check out Hero. That's probably in my top 20 favorite movies of all time. I saw that back in uh, 2004, I think, in the theater, so that was pretty badass. Very cool visual stuff. They do a lot of really cool stuff in that one. And it's a really damn good story. Are, too. We, uh, are we covering just movies or, or TV series as well? Yeah, we're doing both. Because oh, okay. most of like a thousand movies and TV shows. <laughs> oh, okay, because I don't know if you've seen, but uh, Marco Polo. It's oh Netflix. yeah, is that on? Uh, is that on Stars? It's on. Uh, it's a Netflix. It's Netflix original, I think. What? Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. yeah Do you get to see any of that? I saw the first season and it was, it was good. It was you know with the Mongolians and the. Uh, and Kupla the... Khan. Yeah, dude, it was. I don't know. I liked it. It wasn't bad. Very interesting story. The the, the it's a lot of story. I mean, they have a little a few battle scenes and like the, the individual uh, the individual combat's really cool. Like it's really it's really um they focus on that, but like army combat, like uh-huh. it's not really that movie type of show. Yeah. Like epic scenes and stuff. Like epic giant scales. Yeah. I think the only thing Kubla Khan did was uh, try to attack. Uh, he tried to invade Japan twice, and that's where the uh, kamikaze comes in from. You know. All right. Each time he tried to invade Japan, his army was destroyed by a typhoon. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, and the Japanese called it divine winds because they were praying, you know, to keep the Mongols from invading because the Mongols would have. What, Probably would have easily conquered Japan, just the way the Japanese fought at the time. You know, it was very ritualistic, like the samurai, individual samurai would come riding out in their horse and, like, challenge an army of 10,000 Mongols to a duel. (laughs) And they would just look at him like, fuck you, and just shoot him with 10,000 arrows. (laughs) Yeah, that, that uh, that would work out. Yeah, basically be like, you know... One uh, ISIS guy challenging the entire United States Army. They would just be like... <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, we got a predator? What do you got? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wasn't until a couple hundred years later that the Samurai began to actually fight as cohesive unit, military units and stuff. And at the time, though, when the Mongols were showing up, they really just fought one-on-one. But then after that, they were like, all right, we need to get military formations assembled and shit. Yeah. Teamwork. Uh, did you ever see uh, Oliver Stone's Alexander? Yes. Uh, what did you think of that? I liked it a lot. I actually haven't seen it in a really long time. I mean, if you, if you, I think if you Google, like, best war movies, that, that that's going to pop up. Well, it was kind of, a lot of people kind of gave it crap at the time, but I always liked it a lot. I own, like, I think, like, two or three DVD versions of it because he kept releasing, like, different edits of it and stuff until the last edit where he just put, like, he just said, fuck it, and just put everything he ever filmed into it, and I like that version a lot more, even though it's, like, a four-hour-long movie. It's, uh, yeah, the movie's really long. Yeah. But it's, it's good. I like it. I mean, the battle scenes, especially on the uh, full-on uh, edition one, uh, were really cool. I like uh, this one part where they're, like, fighting, and a Greek soldier, like, grabs a Persian by his hair and cuts his head off and then starts swinging his head around as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. <laughs> Talk about gore. Yeah. It's crazy. No, I... Uh, I... I think that movie's okay. The the half the large scale of it was pretty nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, did you ever see any of the Mulan movies, like the cartoon or anything? Yeah, I've seen actually all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see the. Uh, they did a live action one a couple of years ago. I haven't watched that one. I think Jackie Chan's son is in that one. Ah uh, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I've seen the other cartoons. I actually had to watch them in school. 
<laughs> Do you like Eddie Murphy as the dragon? Uh, I mean, it's just a voice. <laughs> so. Uh, I guess what section I just came to. Wars of the Roman Republic. All right, let's see what kind of movies and TV shows we got in here. Uh, did you ever see the classic movie uh, Ben-Hur? No. That's a really good one. In fact, it's tied for the most Oscars ever won by a movie, 11. What well, year was it, man? Uh, 59. Oh, that's probably why I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, it's a really good movie. Like the chariot race scene is fucking the classic scene. Then a year after that, Spartacus came out. That was a good one. I've seen that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. They had like 6,000 extras as Roman soldiers and shit. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen the new the new Spartacus the, on on Netflix? That was... I never saw the TV show. Is it any good? Um, I watched like bits and pieces of it because roommate, my roommate's watching it. Uh, I think uh, I think Chili liked it a lot. But it's very gory. Like they they really they really put the gore out there, man. And they they do slow mo's for the gore. Uh huh. So it's like slow mo gore. And they do like you know they really show you what's going on. Like if you if someone cuts the stomach in the battle, they they, they uh-huh. like, have fake guts coming out. It's pretty pretty nice <laughs> stuff stuff, man. And of course you get to see uh, Lucy Lawless naked. <laughs> Only if I knew who that actress was. Yeah, you know, the chick you played Xena. I think she has red hair in Spartacus. Ah, that one. Yes, she's the like the main lady. Yeah. Thing when get. Yes, you do you do get to see her naked. And uh, I think uh, the British guy from The Mummy is in there, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you remember the British guy from The Mummy? The kind of uh, kind of wussy guy, I guess. I think he's in there. I think he plays her husband or something. Oh, that guy. Yes, he does play her husband. Yeah. Only if I knew who you were talking about, I would be like, oh, yeah, that was... yes, he does, play... <laughs> he does play him. Pretty good. Uh... Yeah, I like him. He's been in a couple of good movies. Did you ever see uh, Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra? That was pretty no. interesting. Had Richard Burton in it. No, it's like, I didn't see like, it. It was like the most expensive movie of all time when it came out. Really? Oh, yeah. It took him like five years to make a profit. <laughs> was it for because of props and stuff? Yeah, like the like the sets and shit were fucking huge. Like there's a scene in the movie where uh, like a uh, hundred slaves are carrying her on this huge platform and shit. It's pretty damn uh, pretty damn crazy. Huh. And of course, uh, Gladiator. That's a classic. Of course, I love it. The only reason I like this because the guy's name is Maximus. <laughs> I, th- I think that's I think that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Maximus the. Uh, Shit, I can't remember his name. It was Maximus, Decimus, Verdius, or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Druids. I remember watching that. That was a B movie. That was like Christopher Lambert playing as uh, the Gallic warrior Vesson Gedrix. That was pretty interesting. Uh, do you got, Do you remember the guy who played Leonidas in 300? Yes. Uh, he was in a TV movie, I think it was on, like, USA or whatever, back in 2001, where he played Attila the Hun. I remember that being pretty interesting. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I love having a Scotsman play a Hun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now moving on to the War of the Three Kingdoms back in China. Uh, there was a movie that came out in 2008 called Red Cliff. It was pretty good. It was, like, a three-hour-long Chinese war movie. Red Cliff. Interesting. I've never heard of it. Well, you know the video game series Dynasty Warriors? Yes. That's basically what time period this is. So, like, if you play Dynasty Warriors, you know everybody in the movie then. Huh. Like, all those characters and stuff. Because those were real people. Wow. Sounds good. Ah, uh, Middle Ages, we got Vikings, a TV series. Dun dun dun. Uh, yeah. Oh, he talked about that, so I guess we'll just move along. <laughs> Was there any other movies in that era, period, you think? Uh, yeah, a couple. There's a Muhammad movie. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that one was kind of controversial. I want to see it because it looks pretty good. Basically, because you know in uh, the Islam, you're not supposed to show any form of Muhammad except his 
written word or whatever. So in the movie, basically, you have a guy asking Muhammad questions, but it's like off camera and you can't hear what Muhammad's saying. <laughs> wow. Interesting. So it's basically like, uh, so uh, what would you do at the Battle of blah, blah, blah? And then he, and there'd be a moment of silence, and then he'd be like, oh, okay, now let me tell the audience what you just told me. <laughs> wow. Isn't that interesting how some things like that affect how movies are made? Like religious beliefs or geographical location or other things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I, think, you know, uh, I think the movie was made in, like, Jordan or Syria or something, so... You know, like back in the day, used to be in Hollywood, when they had romantic scenes, the the woman, if she was, you know, if they were they were on a bed or something, the woman couldn't have her feet lift off the the, the floor. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Get them legs up, bitch. <laughs> no, it, it has to be on the floor. It's a real thing. That's awesome. Because it was very, you know, conservative back then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now it's like, yeah, whatever. Just take the clothes <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Now they have to, like, uh, basically, like, just put, like, something between their legs so that they can simulate sex without anything uh, getting too uh, ambunctious, I guess. Or they just substitute. That's pretty much what they do nowadays. Yeah. They go and get somebody who kind of looks like the chick from behind, I guess. Yes, that that's what happened in the Game of Thrones. Happened in uh, uh, other movies too. Oh yeah. Like when they actually show like nudity, if the actors, the actor, I guess, if they don't want to do it, they just uh, they hire somebody who would say they have a you know a scene a, a scene from the torso down. They hire somebody that looks just like them. You know, similar speech sizes. Because you're not going to be, like, measuring, you know? So you're like, you don't know. Yeah. You want to be my uh, butt double? <laughs> I'm serious, dude. That's what they do. They probably get paid pretty well, too, man. You know? Yeah. So, show, too bad. But, I mean, what are you going to do? I, I guess it's better than, like, good. going and doing a sex scene or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think they usually get, like, hookers or uh, porn stars to be the sex I don't double. get hookers. I feel like that's a pretty well one. Well, in, like, Eastern Europe, that's what they do. <laughs> I feel like there, there isn't really any good ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to war. Enough of the sex talk. All right, 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 right. Uh, that was a pretty good movie uh, taking place down the Spanish weekend Kista. Uh, Charlton Heston's El Cid. That was pretty damn good. Um, let's see. Crusades. Uh, there was a Robin Hood movie. I never got to see that one. To see Robin and Marion. Had Sean Connery and Audrey Hepburn in it. Huh. Sounds, the Sean Connery sounds... Uh... Yeah, that would be kind of interesting seeing him as Robin Hood. Uh, did you ever see the Kevin Costner one? Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves from 91? Is that the one that's goofy and stuff? No, that's probably Men in Tights. <laughs> ah, that is the one. That's the one. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't think I watched the twenty, the old one, Kevin Costner yeah. one. Yeah, you need to see that one. It has. Uh, I, I saw that one in the theater back in '91. <laughs> that was four years old. That was, that. That one's a classic. Uh, do you remember Professor Snape from um, Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, he was the bad guy in that one. So it was really cool. Interesting. Uh, you saw Kingdom of Heaven, right? Yes, I did. That was a good one. Another movie that you need to see the director's cut of, because the director's cut is a uh, fuckload better than the... Wait, but the, do I get this right? The director's cut usually have has narrative by the, direct, by the director. Is that right? Uh, like commentary? Yes. Uh, not always. It's basically just like... Um, well, basically, if you, like, have a four-hour movie, it's really hard to get into a theater because that's more time being used up. So your movie's only going to show, like, three times a day, you know, so yeah. that's less money. So basically, they have to cut it down for time. But when it comes on DVD, then the director could put everything in it he wants to be in there. So there's a lot more backstory and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, even more battle scenes, which is awesome. Yeah, like in Kingdom of Heaven, uh, you remember the main guy, uh, Orlando Bloom or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember he and uh, that bearded king, he and the uh, bearded king didn't like each other? Yes. 
in the theatrical cut, the last time you see the bearded king, he's like being made fun of by the Muslims. But in the director's cut after the battle, he like gets in this epic sword fight with the main character. And it's like, holy shit, how the fuck was this not in the movie? It was like one of the best sword fights I've ever seen. I'm going to have to look into director's cut more then. Because the only director's cut I've ever seen was Das Boot. Oh, yeah. I and, it had, and it had commentary. And I was like, this is not enjoyable. <laughs> well, you have to turn the commentary off. That's yeah, like then, the Lord of the that's like the Lord of the Rings. The extended cuts are super better than uh, the theatrical ones. Ah, okay. I know they're longer, but they are definitely worth it. Well, well the Lord of the Rings movie already long, so how can you make it <laughs> even longer? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like so... Return of the King, I think, is like four and a half hours long. Yeah, it's a three-hour movie, but we we wanted to extend it to five. Have fun. Uh, well, when I saw Return of the King in the theater, I was actually sort of disappointed. I loved it, but I was like, eh. But when I saw the extended cut, I was like, bow down. Because they had a shitload more battle scenes and stuff. It was fucking awesome. I'm probably the only American who ever saw this movie, but it's called um, Arn. It's a Swedish movie about a Swedish um, Templar, Knight Templar or whatever, doing the Crusades. It was kind of interesting. interesting. You don't get to see too many Swedish movies. I saw you. I saw uh, a movie about. I guess it's a it's a Ukrainian movie, but it was made by the Russians. It's weird. Oh, uh, sixteen fifteen or whatever. No, 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 it's called. Well, I think is that the one with the um, where they do like the they portray the the Bolsheviks overthrow. Oh no, I was thinking of something like uh, like. Uh... They're in the like the 15 or 1600s. Well, the the one I think closer to 15. I think it, I think it was 1600s. It was uh, called Taras Bulba. Uh huh. There's two of them. There's the old version and there's the new version. I saw the new version. Uh, it's interesting. It was about the Cossacks and stuff. Yeah. It, it, yeah. The the story is fi- uh, the 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 person Taras Bulba is a fictional character. It was made up. Oh, okay. But the the events are based on a true stories of a few different uh, real per, uh, real people. And, the, and then it says whoever, who it's, uh, there's one person in particular that they, uh, they, they took a lot from, their story took a lot from. It was a lieutenant in, uh, in, the, in some army. Yeah. Uh, so some of it was real and some of it was made up. Sounds pretty cute. That's a kind of a cool name, though. Yeah, it is a cool name. I mean, it, it was a story uh, written by uh, a famous author, so. Yeah. Uh, I've only seen one Mongol movie, naturally called Mongol. <laughs> wow. About, uh, Chinese... How original. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think they were going to try and make a series out of it, but uh, Cha-Ching. What do you mean Cha-Ching? That oh, was the uh... racist thing. That was a money thing. <laughs> No, 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 it was money, damn it. <laughs> what, what, is it, what do you mean? They just made one or they made a few? Uh, they just made one. It was like the first, I don't know, couple of years of his conquest. Basically when he united the uh, Mongol clans together. Oh, huh. interesting. Uh, did you ever see uh, another kind of crusader movie called Ironclad? I actually did see that. It was interesting, very violent. I was surprised. I, I it was like it was like one of those movies where I was like, I don't really think I'm gonna like it. And, and then I watched it. I was like, how is this not like? More, <laughs> how did I not know more about this? Yeah, Paul Giamatti plays uh, King John or whatever, King John the Second or whatever. It's basically about the what happened after the Magna Carta was signed, basically limiting the power of the king. And then the king tries to take over England, and then. He gets stopped by a couple of barons or whatever at a castle and stuff, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's not bad. Then, of course, we got the Wars of Scottish Independence, i.e. Braveheart. Braveheart. Uh, That's my, I think, still my second favorite movie of all time. Really? I I don't know if I would would even... Braveheart was good. It's very violent. Well, the battles, I mean, the battle scenes are like the best ever up until maybe a couple of years ago, I guess. I mean, they're still really freaking good, but I think if the, the battle scenes had gone on for like 20 minutes instead of like five awesome minutes, you know, 
But I mean, that Battle of Sterling is still like, you know, they take the, they impale the horses on their spears and then they just whip out their swords and, <laughs> you know, start charging the English. Yeah. I, I don't remember much from that movie. This is probably because I was like, wow, because I probably was too young when I watched it and I was like, this is kind of violent. Well, I don't think I saw it till I was about 10 because it came out in 95, so I was like 8 years old, I guess, so I probably didn't see it till like the late 90s. Interesting. Um, well, you remember the part at the end where it's being uh, drawn and quartered and shit, being executed? Originally, Mel Gibson had a lot more gore in that part where you actually saw everything, but I think he like previewed it for an audience and like half the crowd ran out of the theater because they didn't want to see it. <laughs> so that's why when you see the movie, it's uh, not there's like no violence whatsoever when he's being executed. Yeah, it was. A, I mean, the camera was panned to his face. Yeah, because basically he's having his dick cut off, his guts pulled out. And then he doesn't die until they uh, basically cut his heart out and then cut his head off. Fun way to die. I, you know, it's funny. The, the way they would kill people is pretty gruesome. Yeah. Uh, Unless you're royalty, then you get off with just, uh, you know, they cut your head off. Because in, in the movie that I was telling you about, Taras Bulba, uh, the, so the son gets captured by the Polish. Uh -huh. And all they do is they strap him to like, this table hands and feet and then they the table has divots on where the hands are where the feet are when uh, where the legs are by divots i mean it's just like a it's a slightly lower part and then think uh, of it like a star uh, is it kind of like the is it kind of like a wheel yes it's a wheel yeah okay yeah the, i can't remember what they call that the breaking wheel or something yes. and what they, they do is they take a huge mallet or like this <laughs> bat and they just break your bones where there's a divot because it that's where it's gonna break and yeah, basically, uh, basically, I guess, kind of picture, I don't know, like, lay your, like, lie down in the street and put your arm, I guess, up on a curb, and then imagine somebody taking a mallet and just snapping your arm, yeah. where your arm's kind of hanging, yep. you know. And, dude, they, they snapped both legs, both arms, and then they took a, they took a thing, they took a, a big hook, and they hooked the person, hooked the guy, and then they lifted him on the hook. In front of everybody. I was like, this is too much. Uh, I was <laughs> like, what the, what is going on? And then he was alive still. I just want to point that out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fucking nuts how people killed each other back then. Burning people alive? Oh, what the hell, man? Yeah. Speaking of, do you ever see any Joan of Arc movies? <laughs> no, I never. I saw The Messenger. That was uh, back in 99. That had, um, what the hell's her name, Mila Jovovich or whatever. Interesting. You remember her? She was a chick in uh, Fifth Element. Oh, that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That. Yeah, fellow Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> she was a, she was an interesting Joan of Arc. The movie was kind of crazy, though. Like, the movie starts off with her, like, as a little girl, and the British are conquering France and stuff, and they, like, come into her, her house and, like, rape a nun and shit. <laughs> it was like, yipe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm the, I remember when I told Chili the story, he was like, uh, was she hot? <laughs> God. <laughs> he would say something like that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, I was too horrified to tell. I'm, I'm making the best of the situation. <laughs> no, man, you're not making the best of anybody. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see uh, any of the Henry V movies? You know, the Shakespeare ones? Um... I know Kenneth Branagh I feel like did I've one. definitely seen one because we had to watch it in school. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The Kenneth Branagh one was done in 89. That was a really good one. In fact... Oh, uh, I did see one of them. There was, it was a modern one. It was wicked weird. Yeah. Because oh, they used the monologues from the books... So, uh -huh. but it was like they had guns and they had cars and stuff, and it was, <laughs> it was like, what is? It? He was like, did you bit your tooth at me, sir? It's like, what? You guys are, you guys are, you guys have cars and guns, and like the gun had like the family uh, uh, logo on there, like the 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 whatever. Are you sure you're not thinking of Romeo and Juliet with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Dude, and... I'm totally thinking of Romeo and Juliet. This is yeah. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and uh what's her name fuck i can't remember her name the chick from terminator 3 was in it 
Ah, Claire Danes. Claire Danes. Yeah, she was in it. Uh, but yeah, Henry V is freaking awesome. Uh, you know, in fact, the what is it? The 600th anniversary of that battle is going to be this year. 600, huh? Yep, 1415, Battle of Agincourt. Any man who sheds his blood with me this day shall be my brother. Wow. So on and so forth. All right, now we get into some weird movies. Who shite wars? I don't even know what the hell that is. That's probably Ukraine or Poland. John Haas. I have no That's idea. Battle of Kosovo. I don't remember that one. Well, I don't. I've never seen it, but I could imagine. Then we get into the Warren States periods in Japan, also known as the Shingoku period. Uh, Kagemusha was pretty good. Never saw it ran. Shogun was a pretty good miniseries back in the day. All right, a bunch of weird movies. Do do do. Ah, there's that movie I think we were talking about. Polish Moscovit War, 1605 to 1618. Movie called 1612. Came out in 2007. And then somehow we jumped to American Indian Wars. Not sure how that happened. <laughs> last, of, last of the Mohicans. We just wanna... That was a great movie. Dude, I, I didn't make the connection between the main character in that movie is the guy who is There Will Be Blood. Didn't yep. make that connection. I was idea. like... I was like, wait, what? And he was, uh, and he was Lincoln. He was what? He was, he was Lincoln and Lincoln. Oh, he was Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Uh, did you ever see Gangs of New York? Uh, I think I have it, and I think I wanted to watch it, and I don't remember so if yeah, I... Yeah, uh, because he played the bad guy in that one, and that was this holy shit, his performance in that one. I think I did see it. Yeah, I made, uh, before me and Chili went on the big-ass road trip, me, Chili, Oompy, and Creed watched the last of the Mohicans before going out. Because I kind of wanted us again to kind of a Native American colonial mood, because the first place we were going was Virginia, you know? So we were yeah. kind of around there. <clears throat> Let's see, Dances with Wolves was good. Did you ever see that? I think I've seen it a long time ago. You saw Geronimo, right, with Matt Damon? Geronimo, Geronimo. I think that was a little movie. It was like Gene Hackman, Matt Damon. I don't think I did. I don't think I have. Uh, you, uh, you saw The New World, right, with Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell? No. As uh, John Smith and uh, chick, uh, some chick was Pocahontas. That was a really good movie, The New World. Really good movie. Oh, The New World. Yes, I did see that one. And Chili and I actually got to go to that place, Jamestown in Virginia. That was really cool. I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, if you ever get to go to Virginia, Biggie, you got to go to Jamestown. It's near Williamsburg and all that. So Jamestown, the original city that was uh, yeah, the first British. Uh, yeah, the first British, uh, I guess, what the fuck would you call it, colony or whatever? It's like a colony city type of thing. Yeah. You know what I was really pissed off about? In uh, 2007, the Queen of England came over to commemorate the 400th anniversary of the founding of Jamestown. I would have really liked to have been there for that. That is that pretty cool, even though it's kind of weird. Pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. And it's really cool being there, too, because you're like, I mean, imagine basically America started here and then ends in Alaska. <laughs> you know, So from everywhere... Spring, everything spring from this small little fort, you know. It was really cool being there. They they have a lot of um. Well, the fort's still there. Like you can walk around it and stuff. They got. Did couple... you smoke some tobacco there? <laughs> uh, you know what they uh they had a guy having a matchlock musket. He's like in full getup and stuff as a soldier and stuff. And I have to tell you, the matches they use on those things smells like shit. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like that stuff will get in your clothes and stay there for a couple of hours. It's basically, I guess, they like take a regular hemp rope or whatever and like dip it in uh, gunpowder or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it burns slowly. But man, it stinks. Let's see. American Revolution. Let's see. Crossing was pretty good. That was an A and E film back in 2000. Had uh, Jeff Daniels as George Washington, John Adams. Fuck yeah, baby. The series? Uh-huh. You got to finish that, right? Yes, I did. 
What did you think? Isn't it amazing how John Adams and Jefferson died? And when they died? I guess I didn't finish it. Oh, well, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew they were going to die. What, well, what I they find it... died like a couple of hours apart. And it was on like the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. So the, both of them died on the 50th anniversary, July 4th. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. But what like, I find interesting is how John Adams was such a very strict kind of like black and white type of person. Yeah, especially with his uh, rowdy son, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean... Instead of being a progressive, like, hey, we just became, like, independent, he was like, we need to do this, and we need to do that. Uh, I, guess, <laughs> I guess you need to have those type of people, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, Jefferson was kind of one of the... Not really, but kind of comparatively, he was, like, one to party down. <laughs> I mean, he, I think Jefferson was more progressive than John Adams was. Well, he was uh, he was kind of more uh, wanting a little more lax and stuff. Yeah. But also, he you know did a bunch of stuff during his presidency that was uh, kind of strict and stuff. Also, but he also he didn't want to grow the government, but he's the guy who signed the Louisiana Purchase, so it's kind of like well, <laughs> he just well, yeah, but he he did him. he did a good thing for that. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if the Americas didn't have. The, didn't that that purchase never happened? Like, what would happen then? Yeah, we would have had to do the uh, manifest destiny way. <laughs> so, uh, what does I want to say? Oh yeah, I don't know if it's John Adams or if it's another Adams that uh, is considered one of the worst presidents in American history. Uh, I don't think he or his son is, but definitely the guys leading up to the Civil War are usually considered to be like the worst. You think so? Yeah, like uh, Buchanan and um, ah, crap, can't remember all their names. <laughs> Gets a little murky around there. I, I, do, I, I some of these presidents I've never even heard of because. And of course, uh, Andrew Jackson's kind of shit on because of the Trail of Tears thing nowadays. But oh yeah, come on, you can't you, you can't not be shit on because of that. It's like you just took these people. I mean, it is shitty, especially seeing how they were those those tribes were our allies during the Tecumseh's War and the War of eighteen twelve and stuff. But if you think about it. I mean, the way we were expanding, I mean, it was either that or we were going to have to fight them off their land. So it's kind of like, yeah. But I think, uh, and this is kind of a weird theory I have, it probably would have been better for everyone instead of shipping the, the Indians west. What if we had shipped them east? That way they could have assimilated and stuff. Or we could have just, you know, not touched their land. But... Yeah, but what were they doing with it? <laughs> They're living on it. They're golden arm heels, Biggie. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> well, that's what that's like what started the Georgia Gold Rush was uh, kicking all the creeks and Cherokee out of Georgia, because then we got it up into the the hills of the Appalachian Mountains and stuff and started finding gold. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, the movie The Patriot with Mel Gibson. I'm sure you've seen that a couple I've of times. Seen that. I saw it twice in the theater, I think. Wow, that was 15 years ago when I did that. <laughs> yeah, starting to get old there, Wolf. Uh, French Revolution. Oh, yeah, I remember Napoleon. That was a TV miniseries. That was pretty good. Uh, do, do, do. Not enough Napoleon movies. Oh, uh, did you ever see Master and Commander with uh, Russell Crowe? I did. That was a really good movie. I liked that one a I lot. I liked that movie as well. The music was really good and stuff. That was a that was a really underrated movie, I think. Uh, I just like that it was naval, naval yeah. warfare. I think it was a different twist on warfare. Did you uh, did you like the ending too, where they were like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> yep. I had to go and uh, get back to the ship. Uh, have you seen any Alamo movies? No, no, I haven't. The uh, 2004 one's really good. In fact, I just bought that on DVD. What is it called? Uh, the Alamo had um, Billy Bob Thornton as David Crockett and uh, uh, Dennis Quaid as Sam Houston. 
Dennis Quaid. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, have you seen the commercials for that new History Channel show, Texas Rising? No, no, I haven't. So it's uh, so it's Sunday. It looks really, really good. It's going to be like the Texas War of Independence and the birth of the Texas Rangers. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot looks a lot better than Sons of Liberty. I'll just say that. Sons of Liberty. I feel like I've seen that. Yeah, that was a miniseries. I guess that came out this year. Yes, I did. I think I've heard of it, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I, maybe I didn't watch it. I didn't like it too much, but. Uh... Just a lot of historical inaccuracies. I don't know why the History Channel is having problems with historical accuracy all of a sudden. <laughs> it's the History Channel. <laughs> you know what it is? I blame all those fucking stupid ass alien shows. <laughs> That's why. Oh, all... uh, how the aliens built the pyramids. <laughs> That's where it all started to go downhill. Uh, I agree with you. I can't. I can't stand those shows. Uh, Taiping Rebellion. That was a. Jet Li movie called The Warlords, I want to see. Yeah, a little known war, that Taiping Rebellion. I think that took place in China during our American Civil War, except like 16 million people died in it. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, China. <laughs> well, it wasn't big back then, was it? How, how was it? It wasn't that populated, because I remember the biggest... Oh, yeah. It was, it was all, it's always been like that. But, most but think about place. it, because the biggest city, most populated city in history that had that large population was London. It was the first city that reached a million residents. Nope. Rome, baby. Was it? It Was it Rome? Uh, then I think Alexandria and then maybe London. No way. Uh-huh. Rome uh, had a million people. Damn. Of course, it was probably the only city on earth that came close to <laughs> that. Because China at the time was probably mostly like farmers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the, like, because they had, I don't think they had an emperor until uh, Chen Shi Hong Di until uh, that was like 220 BC or whatever. It's very interesting. American Civil War. Should be a couple of movies in here. Uh, yeah, I watched Birth of a Nation a couple of uh, weeks ago. That was interesting. That was like one of the first war movies ever made. Except uh, the movie made the uh, KKK, the good guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was kind of, it was an interesting movie, but man, it was a little crazy seeing that. I bet. But the movie is famous for basically like being the first movie to do like a bunch of uh, film techniques and stuff, like the way that camera was framed and stuff. It was very revolutionary in that way, but... Definitely weird seeing uh, white guys in blackface and KKK guys acting like the good guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, did you ever see Gone with the Wind? Uh, Gone with the Wind. Yep, probably saw it. Don't remember what it's about, though. Yeah, it's a classic. I know Chili hates it. In fact, if he was here, he'd be like, <laughs> See, as I fucking said it, but it's a classic. I think I think Gettysburg is a classic, but I, don't, I didn't really like it. Why did you like it? That movie is... That's I, guess, like the most I guess I'm not, pa I'm not an American patriot, dude. I, oh my god, that's like the most important movie in my life. That's a movie that made me get into history. <laughs> I saw it when I was six years old, and I was like, my god, what is this thing called war? I must learn more. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is cool. Interesting. You had to think Pickett's Charge was awesome. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's cool. Just not. First, all right, first of all, were you watching this on your little laptop? No, I was watching this on my computer. Okay, how big is the computing device? Oh, the monitor is 21 and a half inches. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Now, if you watch it on my TV, your pants would be off and you'd just be jerking it. <laughs> I don't think so, though. <laughs> I don't know if that would work, if that would do it for me. But yeah, that's that's definitely... Uh, I, it's not my favorite Civil War movie, but it is definitely the most important movie for me. That and The Lord of the Rings has had the most uh, impact on me as a person. Really? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, because when I saw The Lord of the Rings, I was like, oh my god, all things are possible. You know, it kind of made me want to be a director, you know. But when I saw Gaysburg, it made me, you know, get into history and stuff, so... I owe it a lot. Uh, another Civil War movie, The Horse Soldiers. That was pretty good. That was John Wayne and William Holden. <laughs> Two uh, drunk, badass guys. That was probably, what, in the 60s? 
Uh, 59. Close. Close. That was about a cavalry raid, a Union cavalry raid during the Battle of Vicksburg. Basically, a bunch of uh, Union cavalry guys tearing up uh, Confederate railroads in uh, Mississippi. It was really good. In fact, uh, John Wayne and uh, William Holden get into a badass fist fight in the middle of the movie. <laughs> so they just get tired of pissing each other off. Isn't that interesting, having a name John Wayne? It kind of just, like, sells itself. Oh, yeah. Well, you remember what his real name is, right? I have no idea. I can't remember what his last name is, but his first name is Marion. <laughs> oh. Well, then. I think the movie company was like, uh, we're going to change your name to John Wayne. He's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> Interesting. But, uh, yeah, those were two tough guys. In fact, uh, the way William Holden died in real life was pretty badass. He basically got drunk in his hotel room, passed out, fell over, and busted his head on the coffee table and uh, died from that. <laughs> it's not badass at all. <laughs> the way this <laughs> way. Well, it's synonymous with how those movie stars were back then. Just these big, tough guys who drank all the time. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about this, but the good, the bad, and the ugly. Fuck yeah. I've seen that. That was a good movie. That's my third favorite movie of all time. Third favorite? Yep. Uh, Lord of the Rings was my first. Braveheart's number two, and then the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can't rate war movies, or I can't rate any movie, because I just like them, you know? I can watch it. If they if they appeal to me, I can watch it. I can't rate it. I, uh, I have to say, rating movies is a lot harder than rating uh, video games. A lot harder. That is true, because vi rating video games is pretty easy. You either yeah. like it or you don't like it, and if you do like it, what do you like about it, and boom. Yeah. And then, because I did my list last year of uh, 101 favorite uh, video games, it got tough. It got tough. And, like, past the 50s, it got pretty tough. Because <laughs> you were like, well, I like this game, too. Was it better than this game? But this game was better for its genre. It was just, ugh. Well, I guess you can judge it by amount of hours played. That's one of the categories you can judge it by. Yeah, I guess. Like, if you played it for this long, it must be pretty damn good. Yeah, like, if I played Halo 3 for... 400 hours, it's like, you can't really put Mario, you know, <laughs> above that. It's we had to, we had to put a, thousand, a couple of thousand hours on Yeah, it. a couple of thousands probably. Uh, I mean, <laughs> probably the longest I've ever played a game had to be Halo 3, by far. Probably the most I've ever played a game, con con consistently, is that game. Did you ever see uh, the uh, Clint Eastwood movie, The Outlaw, Josie Wales? I did see that one. That was a, that was a good one. Buzzard's guy, same as the worms. <laughs> he looks old in that, in that movie, but he was. I know, it's just because he's kind of scraggly, I guess. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? Uh, he was a fucking badass in that movie. Quentin Stewart was a badass in all Western movies. Wow, well, yeah, duh, Wolf. <laughs> duh. <laughs> I mean, he's the father of all badasses. He doesn't even have to be badass. He just, like, puts a cigar in his mouth and just, like, kind of closes one eye, and then it's just like, damn, dude, that guy's badass. You're going to joke those pistols or whistle Dixie? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see uh, Glory with uh, Denzel Washington? Yes, I have. That was a good one. That was a good one. Get a lot. The fucking last, uh, the end battle scene, though, was fucking amazing. That song and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Fucking. You have great memory for these movies, I must say. Well, I mean, one, I own most of these, and two, I've seen them like 20 times, some of them. Ah, okay. Uh, did you ever see the uh, TNT TV movie, Anderson? No, I've never had What is it about? Uh, it's about a Confederate prison camp, uh, and uh, it's, it takes place in Georgia. The prison camp is in South Georgia. Is it, is it, the, is it the one that was like the worst one ever? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was a really for a TV movie. It's maybe the best TV movie I've ever seen. Andersonville. Oh. It's really, really fucking good. Saw the saw the Hunley. That was a TV movie about the Confederate submarine. I remember it being pretty good. The Hunley. I think was it the one where they had a Confederate versus the Union one? Yeah. Well, now it was a Confederate submarine. 
it's uh, sinks a union ship and then it sinks with all the crew and stuff. Ah, okay. Do you ever see Gods and Generals, the, uh, I guess you'd call it prequel to Gettysburg? No, I've never seen that one. Definitely, if you ever see it, see the extended cut, it's a lot better than the theatrical cut, I will say that. Then, of course, you got Cold Mountain. That was pretty good. Oh, yep, I've seen that one. That was a good movie. Uh, Lincoln, that was really good. Lincoln was good. Great performance by Mr. Uh, Daniel... Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Brain fart. What's his name? Big fast. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you ever see the British classic movie Zulu? No. That, that was really good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's I... uh, about the British uh, fighting the Zulu tribe in South Africa. I, I'm I'm really wondering which war period has the most war movies made about it. Uh, it's got to be World War Two. You and, think so? Well, we're getting there. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Zulu is really great. I made a... Uh, Oompy and Creed watched it last year or two years ago and they loved it so definitely check that out alright Colonial Mahadada first scene of Jack Nemo blah 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 uh, you ever see the TNT movies about Theodore Roosevelt and fighting in Cuba no I've never 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 I've never seen any movie with Theodore Roosevelt except I hit the museum <laughs> yeah <laughs> I guess God. it's kind of it's kind of like awkward. It's kind of anticlimactic because Theodore Roosevelt was this like awesome badass dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Rough Riders was really good though. Alright, let's skip down the fucking World War One. We gotta get down with this. Da 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 da. Not for the Chinese Revolution. One movie about that and it sucked. Alright, World War One. All Quiet on the Western Front, 1930. Classic fucking movie. Really fucking good. Uh, definitely check that out sometime. Everyone yeah. says that, and I always look at it as being top-rated movies, and I'm like, hmm, I should probably watch it, and then I go, nah. Well, the ba- well, the acting is very old-fashioned, but you gotta remember, the movie came out in 1930, so all these actors were trained in the silent era, so they, their expressions and stuff are kind of, uh, you know, extreme, but that was because they were having to convey, you know, shit without sound, you know? Yeah. But the battle scene, dude, in that movie, holy shit. I was like, holy fuck. And because the movie's so old, it looks like you're actually watching, like, archival footage of a real battle scene. Hmm. In fact, it was so good that it kind of inspired how uh, uh, Steven Spielberg shot the uh, D-Day invasion in uh, Saving Private Ryan. Just that kind of all-out intense, just like... I, I have gripe with that with the with movie. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's see. Any other ones? The Blue Max was pretty good. That was about uh, World War One pilots. Let's see. What about the Red Baron? Uh, the new one? Uh, the old one. Or the new I never one. Saw the, uh, I never saw the old one. I saw, there's, there's, there's the Red Baron movie. That was really good. The Red Baron. Did you ever see Gallipoli, that Australian one with Mel Gibson? Nope. That uh, one was all right. The ending's pretty. Uh, the ending's pretty tragic. Johnny got his gun. That's one of the best war movies of all time. That's actually on YouTube. I made like, oh yeah, for last year for the hundredth anniversary uh, of the start of World War One, I, I made all the guys watch Johnny Got His Gun on YouTube. It's huh. pretty pretty disturbing. It's uh, you never saw the music video for the Metallica song One, did you? No. <laughs> I, uh, I don't even think question. I've ever sat down and listened to Metallica. <laughs> All right, I'll make you watch that after this. Uh, basically, uh, Giant Guy's Guns about an American soldier in World War One who gets hit by uh, an artillery shell. He loses his face, loses both arms, both legs, and he doesn't have a mouth. It's Pop, sad. so he's deaf. He lost his eyes, so he's basically just laying in a hospital bed, unable to do anything but think. And of course, he's got brain damage, so he's got weird dreams and shit. The movie's basically that. <laughs> basically, him just laying there and thinking. That's kind of disturbing. Oh, it's very disturbing. 
Uh, one of my favorite scenes is like where he's uh, hanging out with Jesus in his brain. <laughs> wow. Yeah, very, very crazy. I, I think I would probably be more disturbed by that movie than Braveheart. Oh, yeah, it's it's very, very crazy. Uh, there was another movie called jo- Joyous Noel at the Christmas Truce 1914. That was pretty good. I actually watched that for the 100th anniversary of last year. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, one of the best movies of all time. A little long, but it's a damn good one. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Pass of Glory is pretty damn good. Red Baron, 2008, saw that. It was okay. The uh, airplane fighting in that movie was fucking awesome, though. Was it? Yeah, very, very cool. Sergeant York, 1941, that was a damn good movie. Uh... Passchendaele was a Canadian uh, World War One movie. Very cool. They have a stupid love story in it, but the battle scenes in it are fucking amazing. War Horse. Lamest war movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> fucking gay. Fuck you. Uh, did you see that with the fucking horse? <laughs> I, I didn't, but I, I've seen I Like, I know what it's about, the premise of the movie. Hey, right, let's I... tell the story of World War One through the eyes of a horse. Man. <laughs> God. The dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, skip it through all this. Hey, World War Two. That's how it take five hours. Alright, let's see. Da 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 the Big Red One. Did you ever see that? 1980. Lee Marvin. Luke Skywalker was in it. No. Wait. We skipped Cyber Saving Private Ryan? No, we're going. On. I'm in the bees right now. Oh, okay. I, 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 no, I've never seen that one. Uh, the Luke Bridge Skywalker. Gen- what is Luke Skywalker up to now? What the hell? Uh, he's going to be in the new Star Wars movie. <laughs> Isn't he, like, out of shape? Uh, well, I think they all had to get in shape. I think uh, Princess Leia had to lose like 40 pounds. <laughs> I think Luke Skywalker needs to lose like 80. <laughs> Ella broke his ankle making the movie. Really? Yeah, the new one. Damn. Uh, Bridge Too Far was pretty good. The book was better, naturally. Oh my god, did they really put Captain America in here? <laughs> like Captain America for the win. <laughs> they put Captain America in here, Jesus Christ. I, uh, I never saw Casablanca, did you? No, I've never seen that. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, das Boot? That was a damn movie. Dude, that movie. I was like, everyone told me to watch it. I never watched it. And I watched it. It was so good. I love that fucking ending, man. That was like, just a perfect ending. Ooh, it was so good. Uh, Devil's Brigade, yeah, that was okay. Dirty Dozen's a classic. Did you ever see that one? Yes, I think I've seen that one. Yes, that, I did see that one, yeah. It was like all the badasses from the sixth season. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was my favorite, but it was, it was good. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely a classic. Um, Enemy Below was pretty good. That was like a cat and mouse movie between a U.S. destroyer and a German U-boat. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Do-do-do. Flags of Our Fathers was pretty good. That was about the uh, guys who did Iwo Jima. Iwo Flags. Jima, yeah. Well, what about Letters, Letters to Iwo Jima? That was a great one. I liked that one a lot. Yeah, that was. Just... That was pretty cool. Clint Eastwood did those back to back American version and the uh, Japanese side. Uh, Fury. Rock on. Yeah, that was, I was surprised that it was such a good movie. Yeah, that was oof. <laughs> very disturbing, but really good. Yeah. Even though it got a little Hollywood at the end, but it yes, still... it got a little Hollywood. Yeah. One tank versus you know 250 uh, <laughs> SS. SS. Yeah. <laughs> uh, GFT Hearts War. That was early 2000. Uh, Colin Farrell and uh, Bruce Willis in a POW camp. Hearts War. That's pretty good. I haven't seen it since the theater, but I can't. Oh, um, no, I never saw it. Never saw it. Uh, Ike, Countdown to D-Day was pretty good. Tom Selleck plays Dwight D. Eisenhower. I think that was a TV movie on USA. 
Uh, what did you think of Inglorious Bastards? I didn't love it. I, got, I was kind of like, eh. I think, right. I think historically, if you want to look at Inglorious Bastards, it's not like... Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's not like <laughs> that. But other than that, if you're looking for entertainment value, it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I loved, uh, I loved uh, Brad Pitt's character. <laughs> yeah, the Brad, the Brad, Brad Pitt did a good job for that movie. I mean, that, uh, that uh, speech he gives, I want 50, what was that, I want 100 Nazi scalps. <laughs> yeah. Nazi scalp or whatever. What were you doing? Yeah, Killing Kill, Kill Hitler was ridiculous, and uh, the whole French chick thing drove me insane. Yeah, again, it was. I think it was like a funny movie, not a... Kennedy's Heroes is a classic. That was pretty good. Oh, dude, we forgot. Oh, no, that's not a war movie. Never mind. Longest Day, the movie. It was pretty good. It's got fucking everybody in that movie. John Wayne, uh, uh, Robert Mitchum, Henry Fonda, uh, British guy, I can't remember. (laughs) (laughs) That British guy. The movie, the book, though, is a lot better, though. A lot better. Um, Midway, that was pretty good. Uh, bunch of Mussolini movies. Did you watch My Way yet? No, I have not. You gotta watch My Way, man. Are you sure it's that good? Yes, I remember what I said. I said if there's only one World War II movie you can see in your life, it should be My Way. Alright, I guess I'll watch it. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh da, 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 da. Did you ever see the uh, HBO mini series The Pacific? No, is that still a thing? Yeah, I saw it on uh, I think on Amazon Prime or whatever. It was actually really good. I liked it a lot more than most. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to watch that then. Yeah, the battle scenes were a lot better than Band of Brothers. Are we gonna Are we gonna get the Saving Private Ryan? Yes, when the peas. Oh, oh, battle, a oh, battle, uh, band of brothers. I forgot that one. Battle, what? Band of brothers. Uh, I always have a huge fan of that. I, I like it, but it's you know. I remember when I was I was younger, right? I was like, I remember I had to go to the library to get it. It was like twelve cassette tapes, like those VHS <laughs> tapes. It was uh-huh. twelve of them, man. I was uh, like, damn. Good old days. <laughs> I thought it was interesting though. Yeah. Uh, I like the Pacific a lot more. Uh, Patton, that's my favorite World War II movie. Patton? Come on. I know, but no, it's great. It's just really great. Great American movie. I mean, just watch the first uh, opening part with him talking with the American flag behind him. That's <laughs> that to get you ready to kick some ass in that scene. I guess I guess I'm not. Uh, I guess I'm. I've been brainwashed by the Hollywood movies. <laughs> yeah, probably. Again, I can't wait till we get to Oliver Stone's Vietnam movies. <laughs> That'll make you a proud American. Uh, did you ever see Pearl Harbor? Yes. With uh, 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 Ben Affleck yes, and yes. Uh, Kate, Win- uh, Kate Beckinsale. Saw that in the theater. It's okay. It's a little cheesy because of yeah. Michael Bay. Yeah. But, it's uh, it's all right. Yeah. The Pianist was good. That's uh, the movie that uh, the guy got his Oscar for. Can't remember his name. Adrian Bodhi, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. Red Tails was lame. Uh, never saw Saints and Soldiers and Saving Private Ryan. Oh, that movie. I guess I'll let you take it from here. <laughs> that was good. The only gripe I have with the movie is the, the, the original scene. You the know, original the original, scene. the original, where, where they where they go at the start of the movie, where they're gonna do the the, the landing on the beach. What's your problem with that? Well, historically speaking, I guess that was pretty real, pretty accurate. Yeah. But it's like, don't you think, though, we, 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 looking back on the history, it's not like, aren't we a little bit more advanced than just using meat shields type of thing? <laughs> you know what uh, I'm saying? Not at the time. I mean, it was basically get off the boats, get your ass up there. But well, like, um, here, here, uh, let's let's open the gates down, and then let the <laughs> machine guns shoot at us. Like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why in the Pacific uh, they didn't use those boats a lot. They used um, like uh, armored vehicles, like that would actually drive up onto the beach, and then you just get out. You know, from the back, I'm assuming. 
Uh, not always. I think from the sides, you climb over the sides and shit, but you would have like uh, two machine gunners on the front of the vehicle shooting. So they would be giving you cover and shit. But you got to remember a lot of shit went wrong in that sector of the belt because they were supposed to have tank support, but the tanks floundered in the sea and shit. So, you know, a lot of shit went wrong. But hey, we won the bell. <laughs> yeah, I what cost, you know. Uh, Schindler's List was amazing. That was Very a great movie. Tragic. I saw that. I I almost look at that as a piece of historical film. I more I yeah I look at it more like that than a movie. You know what I mean? Well, that that was that was based on a true story. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Shining Through was interesting. Uh, Star Seventeen never saw that. Uh, Thin Red Line. Thin Red Line's a great movie. Great yep. movie. Saw that one. Oh, did you like it? I thought it was good. Yeah, that was done by the same guy that did the New World, Terrence Malick. I like his style a lot. He does like very kind of like almost I don't know like almost spiritual or something. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, they're very peaceful movies. Yeah, very. very the New peaceful. World was like very calm, even though it was yeah. like kind of intense. You know, I think yeah. it's the suspense. You're like, what is gonna happen? But then you cross that with pretty damn good battle scenes, too, you know? Yeah. Like, they're running up the hills and this art is blown up in their faces and shit. It's like, damn. And then all of a sudden he'll cut to, like, a newborn baby bird being born or something. <laughs> it's like, I guess, like, the effect of war on nature and stuff. That That's kind of interesting. Very, uh, very deep movie. Uh, Tor 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 is probably the best depiction of the uh, attack on Pearl Harbor. Tor Tor Tor, interesting. 1970, baby. I never saw the Tuskegee Airmen. U571 was okay, even though it was very fictional. Yes, I've seen that and that was okay. Uh, did you ever see Valkyrie with uh, Tom Cruise? No. It was okay, it was kind of boring. I don't know he, I'm not a huge Tom Cruise fan. Uh, I loved him in uh, The Last Samurai and Top Gun. I've never seen Top Gun, just for that reason. Wow. I hope you would die if you heard you say that. That's I, like I, I, am, I am a hardcore person that if I don't if I don't support somebody, I better not be watching their movies. <laughs> you better believe that. Nice. Uh, I ever see Where Eagles Dare. That was a very cool action spy movie with uh, Clint Eastwood and... Um, God, I keep forgetting his fucking name today. Um, uh, oh my God! All right, I'm clicking on it. I have to get his fucking name. <laughs> uh, what's what his fuck? Richard Burton. Thank you, wow. Richard Burton. He's like a great British actor. Nobody can do a monologue like Richard Burton. Maybe Sean Connery can. Nah. Well, <laughs> uh, but Clint, that was another badass Clint, Clint Eastwood movie. In fact, I think it was the first movie where you had a guy using two machine guns at the same time. Like, yeah, those uh, two MP40s going off together. Yeah, that was pretty badass. That's yeah, not bad. I just, heard something cra- I just heard something crash in my kitchen. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> Let's it's see. Like it never happened. Yeah, I'm sure it's my fat ass cat knocking something over. He's, He's like, the, me, you asshole. He's looking for the cookies, man. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't eat cookies, but he does eat uh, potato chips and stuff like that. The hell kind of cat is that? Eat potato <laughs> chips? Well, hey. my freaking uh, my freaking old cat likes Twizzlers. Imagine that. What do you feed these people? Do you not do you not feed them and they just like find some like candy <laughs> or something like? Yeah, it was just when I was younger, I was curious at what they would eat. Dude, it's like your cat's hungry, so you just like, instead of like giving them cat food, you just give them some like potato chips. Here you go, they're <laughs> 40% less fat. Here you go. God. <laughs> the hell, man? Well, see so you now we're over an hour. Let's, let's hurry up, I guess. Um, let's see. Cross of Iron was good. Um, Enemy at the Gates, fucking all. That was a great movie. Uh, let's see any other Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, most overrated movie of all time. Uh, I bet you I bet you you're still excited about the sequel, aren't you? Dude, I'm excited because it's a real three D movie. You have you can't be not excited for that. 
Okay. Right. The, the, the the fact is now they sh- the way they shoot 3D movies, yeah, they use foreground, background. That's cool. They have different angles to make sure that each eye gets a different angle and it looks 3D. But Avatar is made in like not it's not shot. It's digitally I, I will, made. I will say this: if I had seen the theater, I probably would have liked it more. IMAX 3D, you would have probably crapped your pants right there and then. Or the other side, but you know. Uh, did you ever see 13 Days, now in the Cold War? No, That's never seen about it. the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. It was really oh. good. Uh, did you ever see that Soviet uh, movie, K-19, The Widowmaker? Yes, I did see that. That was pretty good. Uh, the Good Shepherd was kind of boring. Uh, Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy was kind of boring. Uh, let's see. Do-do-do. What we got here? Um, Skip, uh, what are we doing, Cold War? Are we Are doing Vietnam War? Yeah, I guess we'll move on to Cold, I guess Vietnam. So I haven't seen too many uh, Korean war movies. Uh, Tigerland, that's a good one. Colin Farrell. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, love the part where he's talking about how he was just about to come and he farted, scared the hell out of the chick. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, that, I, like, it doesn't actually have any war parts in it, but... Pretty yeah, cool. uh, the deer hunter was pretty crazy. Did you ever see that? I did see that. How is it crazy? I, I couldn't get the into freaking, it. The freaking part where they're like in the captured by the Viet Cong and they're like making them play Russian roulette. Yeah, I, 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 did, I did know that part, but like I did see that part and I was like, but other than that, the movie's so boring. Yeah, it is a boring movie. Uh, Go Tell the Spartans was okay. Um, Apocalypse Now, one of the greatest films of all time. That was a great film. Uh, did you see Redux or the original version? Uh, what's the difference? Uh, Redux was the director's cut. That's the only version of the movie I've seen. I've seen the original. Okay. Yeah, Redux is uh, really good. I think most people say they like the original just because uh, it didn't have a lot of added stuff, but I've only seen Redux, so I don't know. But I like the added stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. A bunch of Vietnam movies I have not seen. Uncommon Valor is pretty good. Did you ever see that with Gene Hackman? Nope. I didn't see many Vietnam movies other than the ones like the the famous ones. Uh, did you see Platoon? I, yes, I have. That was pretty good. Full Metal Jacket. First half of the movie is amazing. <laughs> I love it. First half, huh? <laughs> well, the second half is interesting, but the first half is like full on. This is what marine corps guys went through when they joined up yeah did you ever see hamburger hill that's a movie i wanted to make uh oompy watch because i've how, seen that one seeing how we fought on hamburger hill and battlefield back company 2 god i miss that dlc man man i miss that dlc i know you didn't like it just because you couldn't see through the brush Dude, I but i couldn't see anything it's like <laughs> oh i got i got killed oh, I, was, I spawned let me run five meters boom dead oh that's that was fun or, uh, or the best the guy comes out of the wood uh, with a flamethrower <laughs> yeah, it's like come on man couldn't see anything in that game hamburger hill that was pretty damn good came out the year i was born rock on uh, Born on the Fourth of July, crazy movie, really good though. Oh, that was that's what Tom Cruise, isn't it? Uh, that was probably maybe his best performance in his career. I guess I guess I've seen that one, so I guess I'm a hypocrite now. I don't know why Jacob's Ladder is in here, but that was a very 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 crazy movie. Um, never saw Heaven and Earth, Forrest Gump, that was Gump. well Lieutenant Dan, I guess. Forrest Gump. That was a great movie. Come on. You you think it was good? Yeah, I mean, I liked it. Would you recommend it to a friend? Uh, f- fact, if uh, you haven't seen Forrest Gump by now, you a retard. Is <laughs> basically. <laughs> I, I've seen it, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just, yeah but uh, if I met somebody who hadn't seen it by now, I'd be like, "What are you retarded?" Like when you meet somebody who hasn't seen Star Wars, it's like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> A lot of people haven't seen Star Wars. I know. It's bad parenting. It's child abuse. <laughs> What's the child abuse? Kids gonna grow up a jackass. It's like, it's like, it's like I never played Pac-Man. Oh, I mean. Or I never played, I, I didn't really play Poke. I never played Pokemon. Well, Pokemon came out when I was 10, so I was like, yeah, this is stupid. Uh, we Were Soldiers. Great movie. We were soldiers, yep. 
saw that in the theater. That was probably the most crazy experience I've ever had in the theater. I was like crying. I was like, oh my god, the fire. <laughs> Jesus. Just having that. Okay, well, those kids should not be going to see that movie. Oh yeah, that came out two thousand two. I was fifteen. Oh okay, never mind. So you cried. Uh, what is wrong with you? Well, it was very emotional. Like when that freaking dude gets his leg skin pulled off. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, there's some pretty gruesome scenes in that one. Or when they burn, the guy burns, half of him burns. Yeah. I never cool. saw American Gangster, but I guess that takes place in Vietnam somewhere. American Gangster. Man, we're well, already we done with Vietnam. I was gonna fast. Feel like we're missing some. Well, you could say you could say good morning. Uh, good morning, Vietnam is a good one. Oh yeah, that was a good one. I'm shocked you've seen that, by the way. <laughs> Why? Because uh, that was a movie I watched when I was a kid. It's it, it, that that catch line. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That that, oh, yeah. that was awesome. Oh yeah. I couldn't I could not handle it. Uh, the Killing Fields was pretty good. That was about the Cambodian Civil War. Uh, uh what is it? Tears of the Sun. That was a good one. That was Africa. We're not quite there yet. Uh, did you see how, the how, how? Well, uh, there was no. It's not really any major war since then, except the Iraq War. Oh yeah. Uh, do you ever see a documentary called The Act of Killing? No. It's about the Indonesian uh, killings of 1965, 66. That was a very interesting documentary. Basically, the guy goes to Indonesia and actually gets the uh, killers to reenact what they did. <laughs> That's, that seems very, very gruesome then. Yeah, but they're like considered heroes over there now, so they were like, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I got a star for this. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you how uh, we killed these people. That's my stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see The Wild Geese? That was a fucking awesome movie. No, I've never seen that. It was about mercenaries in uh, Africa in the 1960s. Huh. Okay, then we get to the Lebanese Civil War and bring on the 1980s action flicks. Yes. <laughs> the yeah. The Navy SEALs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, oh, my God. They got a Polly Shore movie in here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Rambo 3 showed up for some weird reason. What did you think of the Rambo series? I liked it. I liked the first one the most, and then I guess the uh, fourth one, and then the second one, then the third one. The fourth one was the last one, right? Yeah. That was pretty badass seeing that in the theater. I, I thought I thought the last one was pretty good. I've never seen the second and the third. Did you see the first one? Yes, I did. Yeah, I thought he should have been nominated for an Oscar in that one, where he's like breaking down at the end, you know. That's that's pretty much what gave him his badass title, right? That movie. Uh, I guess Rocky and then that. Well, he did Rocky one and then Rocky two and then he kind of didn't do much for a couple of years and then 1982 he had. First Blood and Rocky Three come out, and I was like, boom, you know. You get you gain this badass title. Yeah, and then of course 1985, you had Rambo Two and Rocky Four come out. Both of those made like 600 million dollars, I guess, together. <laughs> Jesus. Well, Rocky Four is still the highest-grossing sports movie of all time. Yeah, I could believe it. Uh, do you ever see a really, really good movie called uh, Carlos? No. It was about the uh, terrorist Carlos the Jackal. It was really, really good. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it was like during the 70s or 60s or whatever. It was really, really freaking good. Is it Africa? No, it was mostly Europe and the Middle East. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was a communist terrorist guy. Huh. That's pretty uh, messed up. Did you see Munich? Munich, no. That was really good. That was about the uh, terrorist attack on the Olympics, 1972, 76. Is it a documentary like. or is it a film? No, it was a Spielberg movie. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was really good. All right, we're almost done. Let's see. Black Hawk Down. That was a great movie. Great movie. 
I don't know. I don't know how true it is, but they say that that run that they had to make from the point where you know the the, the hot zone to uh-huh. the evacuation area where they that there was the the uh, the military the domestic yeah military. Uh, was that a soccer stadium I think the the that run is now used in the in the military for medic training like where they have to like you know it's Oof. part of the training <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know how true that is, but I heard that that's a thing. It might it might be a thing. Desert Storm. Did you ever see Three Kings? Yes, I did. That was a good movie. I own it, but I haven't seen it in like ten years. I need uh, to is watch that, it. Okay, I watched it recently. It was pretty good. Yeah, that was uh George Clooney, Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Mark Wahlberg. He was a oh yeah that's right didn't he get shot in the lung or something now? Yeah, he he had the lung issue. Damn, I forgot he was in that one. Yeah. Uh, I never saw the Devil's Double. I really wanted to see that. That was about uh, the guy who was um, Saddam Hussein's uh, son, Huday or whatever. He was his body double, and it's basically about all the crazy shit that happened. Huh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever want to be a double somebody. No, I- <laughs> Especially that crazy ass. Yeah, it's bitch. like you get like sniped, you know. And you're like, yeah, oh, that was the double. Did you uh, did you see Hotel Rwanda? Oh, that was a messed up movie, man. Yeah, it was really good though, but yeah, it was. That crazy. movie was. Oh. Well, for me, PG-13 and basically have no violence. It was crazy. Dude, it had a bunch of violence. Oh, well, not too much. I mean. Dude, they had someone's. If I'm not mistaken, someone's. Uh, I know that was not that was not that movie, but there's definitely <laughs> there's definitely some intense violence in that movie. Yeah, definitely intense shit. Yeah, I never saw Blood Diamond. Did you see that one? Yes, I did see that. Blood Diamond was very good. That was a uh, Sierra Leone civil war. Yeah, it was it was prime, prime movie. Uh, Tears of the Sun should be around here somewhere, but that movie was crazy. I think I saw the unrated edition or whatever. Oof. Yeah, the that movies. Unreal. Like the uh, part where the chick got her tits cut That's off. That's what I'm stuff. thinking of right now, and that was that was so messed up. And I saw yeah. that, I was like, I like got angry, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I love the part though. They were like, all right, we can bypass this village. You're going there and stop the massacre, and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Bosnian War. I guess there are a couple movies about that. I don't think I'm oh, behind enemy lines with uh, Owen Wilson. <laughs> I actually saw that one. Oh yeah, that was an interesting one. A little I weird. I don't, I don't know if Owen Wilson is a badass actor. Oh yeah, that's just so weird looking back on now. It's like uh, second Chechnyan war. I wasn't aware there was a second Chechnyan war. Uh, did you see Lord of War with uh, Nicolas Cage? Yeah, I saw that. He's from Ukraine. Come on, how can I not see that? Oh well. Yeah, at least, at least in the movies from Ukraine. Yeah, that was a, that was pretty crazy. That was a that was a good movie. Uh, da, da, da. One of the better Nicolas Cage movies, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, it always surprised me, but Chili is a huge Nicolas Cage fan. Really? I was so surprised. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, you don't <laughs> He's get like those. Every, well, especially for his age. I mean, he was like three in, uh, when Nicolas Cage was in his prime, you know? Yeah. You don't get, you don't, you don't hear a lot of people talking, saying they're fans of Nicolas Cage nowadays. Yeah. Uh, Act of Valor was pretty good. Act of Valor. I saw that in theaters. Oh, yeah. Chile and I went and saw that in the theater. Very was... suspenseful. Yeah, I watched it uh, not too. I watched it a couple of months ago again because I own it on DVD and it was it's still pretty damn good. Uh, September 11th. Uh, let's see, Fahrenheit 9/11. I guess that was the Michael Moore one. Uh, there is a there is a movie that I don't know why no one talks about, but it's called Twin Towers. It's with Nicolas Cage. Oh, you mean World Trade Center? Yeah. Is, is I, it called the World Trade Center? Yeah, yeah, that was really good. The thing is, though, I've owned it for about nine years on DVD, and I haven't watched it on DVD. <laughs> but I did, I did see it in the theater, though. I did so. see it in theaters, and everyone, no one, no one ever mentions it when it comes to that. And I've I seen know. it, and yeah. it's so good. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was great. Yeah, uh, it's kind of. Well, I think everyone's kind of trying to forget the whole 9/11 thing. Yeah, I don't blame them. 
United 93 was pretty good. Yep, I saw that. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Pakistan. Zero Dark Thirty I liked a lot. That was a good movie. I saw that in theaters as well. Even though I hated the trick character. Uh, that definitely portrayed the Navy SEALs to be a bunch of badasses. Oh, yeah. Hey, war in Afghanistan. Da, da, da. Iron Man, really. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, there was only like probably one scene that he was in Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. Lone Survivor, I still need to see that. Well, I saw that one with Mark was, Wahlberg. That was, was it pretty good? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It uh, definitely has its... um. The battle scenes is pretty interesting. Uh, Again, there's a part where I don't know how realistic it is, but like I always seem to in movies like the radio seems to stop working magically. Like <laughs> oh, we just can't get a radio signal. It's like what though? Like yeah. Uh, the Hurt Locker I liked a lot. That uh, was good. I saw that like three months before it came out to theaters because I found it bootleg somewhere. Nice. <laughs> I like watched it and it like came out into theaters and I was like, wait a second, like I totally just saw this movie already. I was like, wait, what? American uh, American Sniper. American that Sniper. Good. Very good. Yep. Uh, let's see, any other? There might be uh, Mexican Drug War. I haven't seen any movies on that, but I bet you they're interesting. Uh, no, I've never even never even knew they made movies about that. <laughs> Are you talking about Breaking Bad? <laughs> Uh, I guess that's, uh, well, let's see, most name movies, da -da -da. Da -da -da. yeah, Wild Geese, that was good, Dogs of War was pretty interesting, uh, yep, that's it, so uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this, and uh, it was uh, great hanging out with you, Biggie, that was awesome. Yeah, hey, man, that was awesome. There's, there's definitely a bunch of movies that I have not even seen, but then again, yeah. I'm a lot younger, so I probably would never see them. You're know, five years younger. I am. I am a, I am a Hollywood. I've been brainwashed by the Hollywood's propaganda. I can't watch any good news anymore. <laughs> All right. Hey, stop recording.